Less is more. We all know this saying. But hardly anyone knows who actually said it first. We hear it constantly, from commercials and TV shows to individual social media profiles. It transcended architectural style which was deeply embedded in modernism of 20th century. Today we will talk about one of the greatest of all time, godfather of minimalism, Ludwig Mies van der Rohe, man who said it first. For many, Barcelona Pavilion is Miss greatest project. It is one of the most humane building I can think of. A genuine gem of modern architecture. A foundation of minimalism. When we try to analyze its layout, nothing really lines up. All partitions are off. At first glance, it seems it lacks any symmetry. And there is a reason for that. It humanizes entire structure. It makes it imperfect, as we all are. However, we do aspire and dream of perfection. And then you realize all hidden layers of this building, reaching its perfection in the eye of beholder. If anything, this structure is far from blunt and superficial. It is tentative to its core and requires your full interaction. Even Courtyard's statue underlines this story. Named Morgan or Morning, it is a statue of naked woman that covers her face under the sunlight, as we all are, may be excited but also a bit terrified in front of unknown and new. The circulation from the east leads you up a flight of steps and eventually you end up on a platform on which the pavilion stands. The flight of stairs is spatially compressed and when you reach the top of the platform, the pull causes you to turn 180 degrees. This turn prepares you for the compressed entry with the glass wall on the right and the green Alpiverde marble wall on the left, all modified by reflected trees. This squeezed space leads directly into a larger dominating hall that contains the main function of the pavilion. Space flow is literally folding around you and lead you. It is revealed, but also hidden. It's almost like the surfaces vibrate and resonate with its bookmatch tiling of the central onyx plane. About materials, we could talk for hours about perfect selection of natural stone from white travertine on the floor and walls to green marble and brown onyx but for the keen eye, it's quite remarkable to observe cross-section columns wrapped in stainless steel. The one must wonder how that attention to details was awarded by masterful execution back in 1928. Many times, I'm sure, you saw this chair in contemporary interiors. Today, Knoll is certified for production and sales of this design developed by Miss himself and Lily Reich. Minimalism is a point where West finally met East, being heavily inspired by Zen philosophy of traditional Japanese architecture. 
That is what empowered modernism to become de facto international architectural style. As movement gained momentum, it gradually left Miss Elegant lines and eventually evolved into postmodernism. But more about that and other movements and styles in the next videos, so stay tuned. And this was my take for this episode. Please like, share and subscribe, it means a lot. Don't forget to let me know your thoughts on the matter in the comments down below. And if you really like this video, check out these other related stories. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Cheers!